what's happening welcome to the channel I am Winnie <clears throat> Winnie Moon um, I am the medium here always remember take what resonates leave what doesn't okay it's not always gonna resonate for everybody and at the same time um, you know take the advice if you can and if not wait for the next one it doesn't hurt my feelings um, we do have uh, personal readings going on right now okay so if you want a personal reading just let me know Whitney moonshine at gmail.com all one word all right let's get a crack <clears throat> cold moon merriment and ceremony so take thee with thy dreariest of moments release me from your tongue and nourish me with light what joy, what glee beams from the sounds of the voices, uplifting the webs of sorrow, glimmering as if no tomorrow. I call upon those heralds of winter, dimming light for better sight. Hear thy praise spilling from thy lips, a spell I'll cast for thy spirits in me. Hmm. So you could have been, or like somebody you know was like caught up in something and you might have left a really bad taste on somebody's tongue or um persecuted in some way um from somebody you know you did something you cheated on somebody you fucked up um you left somebody you fought somebody you know you did something and um you're kind of like releasing that now, right? Because whatever happened in the past happened in the past and people forgive and forget. And if you're a different person, then the way that the universe wants you to see it is what stays in the past is in the past. And if you want to carry it around with you, then you can, but if you don't, then the spirits are kind of saying like, you can leave this behind, right? Whatever you've webbed up, whatever you've thought about, Right. Like I'm, I'm seeing a kind of web in her crown with the, with the seashells. And then in the merriment, it says web of sorrow. And I just made this new snake, this new ashtray and look at the webs on the graves here. It's all webbed up. I'm like, I don't know who's webbed up, but I feel like somebody has been caught up in something and in a web of lies in a web of deceit, in a web, okay? And um, they're trying to get out of it, okay? And they're trying to cast themselves out of it. And the universe is trying to let you know that whatever happened, um, people are over it. And uh, maybe you need to get over it too, right? Like maybe you got drunk one night and, and said some things that you shouldn't have said or did some things that you shouldn't have done. And you keep thinking that, you know, these people have, are still using it against you. And the thing is, is that they could be still using it against you, but spirits telling you that they're not, they don't want to use this against you anymore. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, I'm getting this uh, Manchester United song. And uh, the line he's saying is, I don't want to hold back my faith anymore. And then as I'm saying that, we've got the son of wands with the father of cups. So, oh, look at that fucking wheel of fortune on the bottom i'm never not going to take that there's the six of cups six of wands in reverse or six of swords in reverse with the six of wands two that's three sixes in a row oh no that's the eight of wands my bad almost three sixes in a row or we have another six on the board no we don't well we got a couple of sevens which is nice i don't want to hold back my faith anymore okay so 
um, the wheel is turning with somebody in your past, okay? And justice is here um, with the Mother of Cups on top of it and the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody, um, I don't know, has been thinking about you. And that's the thing is like sometimes we just get into these situations in the past and like we think that we can never get over them. But I think this Son of Wands turning into the Father of Cups wants to because it's like they see something they desire, Okay. Which would be kind of like that immature moment. Right. And then they, they blossom into the father of cups into the master of the master protector, basically. Right. The, the male swans, like, I mean, the females are fucking one thing, but the males, the males will, will try to kill you. If you go anywhere near his family or cause him any sort of worry, right? Because he's trying to protect this. That's what he wants to protect. Okay. So like, look at, there's this woman right there. Actually, he's looking right at her. Actually, they're looking at each other on the table. It's just, she's been hiding. She was underneath all these other cards here. She was underneath justice and this eight of cups here or seven of cups and this 10 of pentacles, she's hiding underneath all of this energy. So maybe he couldn't see her, right? He's just given all these, he's thinking he's got to go and give all these options to all these other people. And the one cup that wants to go to the sun is in reverse. That's why something needs to change. So then all these other decisions go away. And one presents itself. That Ace of Cups in the middle presents itself. Because it seems like that's where it wants to go. Okay? It wants to go to this Mother of Cups. Because it's on his mind. And then all of a sudden it appears with her. Or maybe it's always been with her. Okay? So that's the thing. is like something in the past could have happened. And um, somebody just kind of stood still for a bit. And watched how this was going to go down. And it's not easy watching from the sidelines. It's not easy being quiet. The daughter of swords pisses everybody off because she's just sitting there and she's watching everything. And she's not going to say a single fucking thing to anybody. And that's what pisses people off because they're like, why are you saying anything? Why are you saying anything? Like, why are you watching us? Well, she's watching because she wants to know what to do, right? She's learning, right? So there could be something in that where it's like, maybe someone's learning how to speak, right? They don't know what to say. So they just, they let everything go. I think someone's been caught up in words for a long time, which is why this is now in reverse. Um, caught up in emotions, in words. Um, don't know what to say, don't want to do because maybe they feel like a fool, right? And the universe is like, there's something changing, you know, there's something changing. And if you like, they, like they said, you know, if you want to stay in the past, you can go right ahead, but there's an open opportunity happening and that door is opening and you either walk through the door because that's what you want, or you choose to stay in the room that you're at. Spirit can't force you to do anything. They can't tell you to do anything. All they can do is present you options. If you choose to take those options, you choose to, if you don't, you don't, right? Thing is, sometimes we lose opportunities, but do we regret it? That's up to you. That's the thing is like, I try not to do things that I will regret. And I try not to do things that or try not to make decisions that if I choose not to do something, I'm going to regret it in the future. Right? Because I'm a go getter. I'm a doer. I tend to do before I really think about it. I mean, unless it's a really dangerous situation, then I'll think, think, think. But for the most part, right? So it's like, if the universe is, is trying to give you another hand at something because spirit's standing with you and not against you, then I'm thinking that the ceremony, whatever happens, justice is there. It's the truth. Right? And with the Ten of Pentacles... Um, you know, money, all the money in the world couldn't buy this one opportunity. It's not an opportunity that can be bought. It's an opportunity that's been sowed. It's already there, right? That's why sometimes we have to make 
difficult decisions and kind of put our pride down. And that's where maybe this comes in the six of swords. Like the six of swords is that difficult situation that is kind of staring you at the face, but you choose to move forward anyways, right? Because you can see the rainbow on the other side of the trauma, right? So we don't always do everything that we want and we don't always get in the best situations. And we think to ourselves, like, what the fuck have we done? But we can always get out of it, right? As long as it's not criminal intent and you're locked in jail, it's like a lot of energy can be reversible and a lot of words can be reversible if you truly mean it, right? If you truly mean it and you've let the old you go, you know, son of cups, that would be the knight of cups. You've let the old version of, I'm going to sit here while everybody brings me what they need. It's kind of like, Oof, you know, like maybe this is your time to deliver. Look, you see that? How the fuck did that even happen? That was like a genie. Okay. Son of cups just flew out again. Like, I don't even know what to say to that. Oh my God. And look at justice just came out again. Are we just going to do the same reading again? What could you imagine? Oh, look at we got some different cards. We got the seven of wands, the three of swords, and the ten of swords, and the world all in reverse. So it's almost like this standing alone and and having to be on your own is trauma from the past that you have to release from your heart. This pain has to go away, right? Whatever it is that you did, if you feel that bad about something that you did, then the, the energy is obviously not trying to move around you. Like when we have to apologize for our actions of the past, it honestly is very hard. And like people, you know, look at, there's the wheel again, right? Like, I mean, it is really hard to overcome obstacles and, and, uh, be rise, you know, to the occasion and be beautiful again. Like it is really hard. There is a lot of bending over and there is a lot of things that people are going to say that you may not like for the things that you choose, you know, that you chose to do, but I mean, if you're a new person, then anything people say, like, you know, constructive criticism, use it as that, right? Use it as they're choosing, they chose to tell you something, they, they're choosing to tell you something because they trust that you can handle what they're going to say. So, because maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's going to come through somebody else. Maybe, you know, you're just going to kind of knock on somebody's door and expect them to throw World War Three at you, right? And that's where you just kind of hand over the flowers and go like, I'm sorry for what I did, right? I'm sorry that I did this. I'm sorry that you had to go through that. I'm sorry, right? And like I said, it's hard to apologize. It's hard to say sorry. But what's worse than not saying sorry is rubbing your face in it every day. And that pride and that ego is, is what's hurting you the most. So not, it's not even about the apology anymore. It's almost like tell your ego that, you know, can take a fucking hike and that you've got to learn how to apologize and how to eat shit. I mean, I don't like to say that, but that is it. Like, you know, when you do something wrong, that's the thing. Got to eat shit. So. Uh, I hope it resonates. Okay. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't all for entertainment purposes only. Okay. And, um, if you need further advice, you can always let me know Whitney moonshine at gmail.com. All right. I do reading seven days a week, uh, for the most part anyways. Um, and thank you for liking. If you like the video, please, you know, like it on YouTube. So then they kind of know that people like my content and, um, that I'm working my ass off to try to get this going. And, uh, you know, thank you for subscribing and yeah. Peace out. Have a good week and be safe out there.